Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And, uh, you know, we're gonna jump straight away to the reading itself. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for uh, Aries um, for Aries this week, that will be uh, the Two of Wands, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Aries needs to overcome for throughout the week, that will be uh, the Page of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the third card which stands for the positive aspect of, the, uh, of Aries this week and that will be uh, the Seven of Cups. And the last one that we do have is going to be guidance-wise, or what the tarot has as a guidance to Aries. This is going to be the Ten of Cups. All right, so once again, uh, Two of Wands is going to be the topic, followed by the Page of Pentacles, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, we do have the Seven of Cups, which stands for a um, positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be uh, the Ten of Cups, which is the guidance. So, uh, by its nature, guys, it seems that this reading, it's a, about finding a way how one to uh, generally reach a bet better progress into oneself. That is due to the uh, main topic of the week here with the Two of Wands, because what the Two of Wands represents in the grand scheme of things is that one sits on a, uh, or kind of like, one is on a, um, on a state of where one has somewhat acceptable achievements let's say that way not amazing you know but it could have been worse but but this specific milestone that that one is taking should not be the last step of their of their growth and therefore from now on one should um seek of how to improve even further their either skills, knowledge, relationship, career, and so on and so forth. So what that means is that throughout this specific week, July 8th to July 14th, you are going to seek for N opportunities. That is what the week is going to be dappled with, okay? <clears throat> And so if you are single, it seems that it's going to be a good week for you to seek an opportunities to get uh, involved with someone. If you don't have a job, then it's going to be a good week where you have to start seeking an opportunity to find a good job, you know. Or if you do have a job that pleases you, then probably it's time for you to start thinking about some sort of a promotion, you know, or just incorporating yourself into a, a more uh, important, you know, and, and bigger projects. The accompanied card here is going to be the Empress. And so the formation, it is a active neutrals that we do have. And we're definitely talking about step outside of one's comfort zone here, right? And uh, it's kind of like one pushing himself either career-wise or relationship-wise because as a neutral, as Empress neutral to the two of wands, it does give you a choice, okay? Uh, choice in the sense of that you can decide that you are uh, in 
uh, I would say in a good place where you are satisfied with uh, the current state of the situation, you know, as the situation prove itself to be rather comfortable and just do nothing more than what you have, what, what it is expected from you, you know, and continue on harvest these uh, fruits of your labor. Or you can be more uh, ambitious, it's the right word that I'm trying to say, and provoke even further I would say growth, you know, and transformation by, sh how can I, how can I say it, shuffling a bit this, this zone of comfort. So it's all about challenging yourself for, for what it seems here by these couple of cards and being capable to make steps toward the unknown. This is what provokes your growth throughout the week. So the next card, it's going to be, uh, the negative aspect, and we're talking about the person here, Page of Pentacles. So uh, this person, uh, I don't know what is going to be the relation, uh, the relationship that you're going to have with them, okay? But I will try to explain you that person uh, to you as a property. So this is someone who is rather very slow and kind of have a little bit of a difficulty to get the hang of it. All right, and as you are in a threshold right now that you need to seek new opportunities, it's gonna be difficult for this person to comprehend on that you do need new opportunities. That could be the colleague that you are every day, you know, drinking your coffee together and you kind of like share that uh, you have an ambition to chase a, a great career and they kind of like do not comprehend on it. They, they don't know what you're talking about because they would gladly be at your place as you are sitting right now and it's kind of like it's, it's difficult for them to to understand you know and the, the relate the relation here that you do have with this person the very least you will you will depend on them in one or another way to be able to move to to make yourself to make your path easier you know toward growth and uh, success as well this now that I think of if in case we're talking about relationship right that could be a, a very difficult situation that we do have here with the first couple of cards as well, right? Which this could be a somewhat a, a friend of yours that you do have some somewhat more bigger emotions toward them, you know? Like you don't take them only as a friend, but you would gladly as well be in a relationship with them. It's just they don't, it's not like they don't have the same kind of like affection, but it's they don't dare to think of it because they do care more about what, is, what are going to be the consequences of that rather than the product of it, if that makes uh, sense. The accompanied card here is going to be the Sun card and the formation, it is a, a passive neutrals once again. And what well, we do have active neutrals, now we do have a passive neutrals. Very moody person, I would say. I mean, they do, uh, how can I describe it? I mean, they are like a two faces, double face, the, the double, they do have double sides, or it's kind of like there are two people, one in another. When they don't chase a specific goal, right? They could be cheerful. Uh, very, how can I place it? Very uh, with a great amount of solidarity as well. Very understandable, and you can always rely on them. But when they focus themselves on a specific goal, they don't care for anything else, all right? And they are ready to do whatever kind of like it takes to to uh, to reach that goal. So it's more like a, a ruthless kind of person. So if uh, the, the situation is like I described it, that you do have a thing for them, but they do have a thing for you as well. But let's say that they know that their family is not going to approve. You're just saying it will be enormously difficult to to make their mind around, you know, and to change their heart into actually trying with you. So that could be a, a push for your understanding for your areas that if it isn't working out with someone that you are currently trying to mesmerize or enthrall here, maybe it's time for you to move on and try to seek different opportunities. Like I said, throwing yourself outside of your comfort zone, stepping toward the unknown and giving chance into someone else. Now, the positive aspect of the week here is going to be uh, the Seven of Cups. And so the Seven of Cups in a positive aspect, it does expresses a uh, the validity, if I may express myself that way, of the, um, how would say it like this, you know, quote, unquote, foolish dreams that one has. So 
in that specific a uh, standpoint, the seven of cups points that are your goals and dreams that you do have in front of yourself, for example, being rich, for example, being happy with someone and uh, or happy in general, because we're talking about the grand scheme of things and not in a specific for a specific situation, but just in general. Uh, are those hopes and dreams, fantasies or seeds growing? Well, yet remains to, to be knowing. So that being said, you know, you shouldn't bail out on any kind of grand idea that you do have. And under a grand idea, you need to differentiate major and minor idea. So major idea is when you do have an idea to be happy. Minor idea is when you are focusing that major idea upon a specific fulcrum or in this case, a specific person. So that being said, you can be happy with whoever offers you happiness. Okay, you don't have to chase a specific person and miss every single other opportunity to be happy. So be more wide open or I don't know how to say it, kind of like have more open, open mind. Same thing goes in regards to relationship as well. You can be successful, but maybe not in the work that you are, um, maybe not in the job that you are working at, you know, or maybe not in the line of profession that you are in right now. But if you do have a hope to be successful, well, then probably you will be able to reach down that hope down the road. The uh, accompanied card here, and uh, as a um, positive aspect of the week, this uh, represents, this card alone here represents that you ain't gonna lose any clamor, all right? Despite what happens, you are gonna determine yourself to be either happy or lucrative despite the current situation throughout looking for a new opportunities. And having the devil card in conjunction with the seven of cups, the formation here, it is a passive friends. And so the more poignant and despondent the situation is for you, the more inertia and power you're gonna you're going to accumulate. It is kind of like a backlash that you're gonna do, all right? So you have been put under a toe, all right? You have been pressed on against the wall and finally you accumulate so much of that, I would say, kinetic energy or it's not a kinetic, it's actually static energy that you transform it into a kinetic one and you just backlash. It's more like the, these movie guys where, you know, you kind of like imagine that bow of light that accumulates, accumulates, and finally boom, it, it explodes and annihilates everybody that wishes you the worst. So what I'm trying to say here is that throughout this accumulation of an energy here that is that feeds up on the poignancy of your situation, you will have the chance to provoke a, a faithful circumstances, which are gonna be the circumstances you need in order to start observing and thinking of a new opportunities. And finally, what we have, it is the uh, guidance card here. My, my cards are starting to bend. That's not good at all. Anyway, so uh, the guidance 10 of cups, it is uh, one of the properties that I like the most from the Ten of Cups. As a guidance, it says, well, in this follow-up here, it is. it does represent this side of the human nature that always strives for more. I mean, at certain points, what we have, it's satisfiable, all right? We are pleased with it, but it's not enough, knowing that we can simply go for more. And so the, uh, the guidance here is that you will have to seek improvement and growth despite that maybe you are not given you are not you are not given such thing in your either current job or in your either current relationship if that's the case well then it's obvious you have to find another job or another relationship right the accompanied card here is going to be the seven of wands the formation that we do have it is a uh, passive uh, enemies and pretty much you are gonna come to realization that the, that, how can I describe it? Uh, that from now on, you know, any moments of you detaching or rather like try seeking a for, for these new options available, it is a good moment, okay? It's, it's not like, for example, if you, realize that you're not happy into your relationship and you want to divulge that you want to split it with your partner 
and you are hoping to to wait for the perfect moment where well, these cards are pointing that any moment is going to be perfect i mean if you are waiting for this perfect 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 moment it's never going to come it's just you need to stand in and 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 simply say it okay <coughs> so that being said aries uh this was your weekly tarot reading for july 8th to july 14 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other around until then Bye.